Good morning, good morning. It's Pastor Callie, and I'm getting on a little bit early today. I am in Nashville with my daughter, and I'm trying not to get too loud because they're still asleep. But we can pray even if we have to pray quietly, right? So I want to encourage you. I'm going to wait on a few of you to get on. Good morning. Good morning. I got on a little early today. And um, so good morning, ladies. God is moving in America. God is moving in America. God is moving in America. I've been listening to some revival um, meetings this morning, different ones that are that are out going from state to state doing, you know, having meetings and gathering people and baptizing people. And uh, Pastor Jenny and I are going to Kentucky in August, and I know there's going to be an outpouring of the Spirit of God there. I want you to go to hervoice.com, and you can see all the dates that have already been booked. We will be in Kentucky um, in August. And just know that God is doing something beyond our wildest imagination when it comes to revival in America. And uh, he's going to start with revival in us, revival in our homes, revival in our families, revival in our churches, revival in our cities, revival in our, our states, revival in this nation, and revival across America. So, Lord, I just thank you. For another day to worship you. I thank you for another day to seek your face. I thank you for another day to spend in your presence. Lord, I thank you for the dreams that I've had the last two nights of revival. I believe that God is um, getting us ready. He's positioning us for uh, our hearts to be completely wide open to the move of the Spirit. To the move of the Spirit. Listen, don't fear, ladies. Don't fear. The enemy's trying all kinds of things. He's he's always got, but his tricks are pretty much the same. He, he, he'll mess with your mind. He'll mess with your family. He'll mess with your hope. He'll mess with your ability to understand, but don't fall for his tricks. Don't fall for his tricks. He'll, he'll do anything he can to discourage us or to stop us, but don't fall for his tricks. Don't fall for his tricks. Just pray more. Spend more time in the Bible. Spend more time praying. Spend more time seeking God. Spend more time in his presence. And know that God is going to be faithful to move exceedingly, abundantly above all that we could ask or think. I was just watching um, a little clip of Sid Roth with Jesse Green and her husband who have just been in Kentucky. And then, of course, Jenny and I are going next month and I'm thinking, you know what? God is doing something in America that's beyond anything we can even imagine. He is calling people out of obscurity. He is calling people that nobody knows. He is putting his hand on pe on just people that are saying yes, God, to whatever you have for us, whatever you want us to do. And people are just um, good, amazing Christians are just following the Holy Ghost, and seeing a mighty outpouring in different areas in this country. So, Lord, I just thank you for what you're doing. I'm in Nashville today, and I just thank you for revival in Nashville and the surrounding area. I thank you, Lord God, for, that Nashville will burn with revival, that Nashville will burn with revival, that Nashville will burn with a hunger for you, God, that you'll take every religious spirit out of this place and put in this city and surrounding cities a desire for you. Lord, we thank you for a, a revival like that happened in Nashville, like what it happened at the Mother Church. They call it the Mother Church. The Ryman was a revival center. And God, we just declare that the Ryman will be a revival center again. We declare that Nashville is going to be on fire, that Tennessee is just going to burn with revival. I'm in Tennessee, God, and I just thank you for revival in Tennessee. I thank you for revival in Kentucky. I thank you for revival in Georgia. I thank you for revival in every state in the Union. We stand in faith knowing you are a God that does exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think. 
There is none like you, Father. There is none like you. I thank you that America is literally uh, convulsing with birth pains. And we're going to see revival break out. The fire of God is going to break out across this nation. I had a dream. I had two significant dreams after I had that wreck. Uh, the first one, well, one was a dream, one was an open vision. But the first one was I, I was in the Teton Mountains and I saw two rocks on top of these mountains. And the first rock was shaking and it fell to the ground and it hit America. And uh, I believe that God was saying there was a shaking coming and it hit America. But when it hit America, fire began to burst out from that uh from that impact, the impact of that shaking, fire began to burst out and revival began to burst out. And then a second rock came and fire began to burst out again. And then the next thing that I saw is I had a vision of um, the map of America and uh, my eyes became telescopes and I could see that America was hard and dry, it looked like a desert. And there were parts of America where you couldn't even see the map. There were parts of America that no longer looked like America. It was so de devastated. But God said, don't focus on what's going on. He said, I want you to focus on heaven. And see, that was a prophetic word to me for what the season is. That was a prophetic word for the next season of my life. That was a prophetic word to the church. That was a prophetic word to everyone, he said, don't focus on the devastation. Don't focus on the hardness of the land. He said, look up. He said, I want you to focus up. So I began to look up and I began to see gold raindrops, gold raindrops, just a few. And then it went to like a light and then it was a light rain and then it went to a rain and then it went to a heavy rain and then it went to a delusion, a, a, a deluge of rain, uh, literally a, a deluge of rain, just like a flood began to come. And God said, now I want you to look back. It was a, it was literally the glory of God that was just raining all over America. And then God said, I want you to look back down at the ground. And when I looked back down at the ground, America had been restored. The map had been restored and America was breathing and moving. It was not hard and brittle anymore. And so the Lord said to me, Focus on me, focus on worship, focus on prayer, focus on everything that I've called you to do. Stay, stay, stay steadfast with the mantle that I've put on your life. And so I would say to you, don't be deceived. Don't, don't fall under any false uh, illusion or de delusion that the enemy uh, is going to win in any way in your life. Don't get focused on negative things, but ask Holy Spirit to help you stay focused on prayer, focused on His Spirit, focused on what is pure and holy, because I promise you He'll try every kind of trick in the book, and if you're not careful, it will sound like your own head. It will sound like your own mind when really it's the voice of the enemy. So Lord, I just thank you that you're giving all of these women, including myself, extreme eyes to see, extreme ears to hear, and an extreme obedient heart. God, that we will not be sidetracked with any kind of, of um, lie of the enemy, any kind of lie of the enemy, because it's just all lies. And Lord, we would, we would literally just only hear the truth we would hear the truth of your word. We would hear the truth of your spirit. We would hear the truth and we would recognize all lies because we have so much to do before the coming of the Lord. We have so much to do. We have so many souls to save. We have so, we've, we've got to preach the gospel across this nation and world. We've got to bring in the harvest. We've got to work in the supernatural realm of the spirit. We are not called to live by the flesh, but we are called to live by the Spirit. And we've got to live by the Spirit at this time in our lives. And I ask you, God, to help us. I ask you, God, to help us. I ask you, God. I pray, God, for this state. I pray for Tennessee. I pray for Tennessee today, God. I pray for Texas today, Lord. I pray for Oregon today, Lord. I pray for Washington. I pray for Kentucky, where we are going, Lord, this next month. I pray, God, for every state in the union. I pray for wisdom. 
I pray, God, that you give us eyes to see and ears to hear. I pray, God, you give us eyes to see and ears to hear. I pray, God, that the anointing of the Lord would be on us, God, when we gather and we seek your face. That, God, we would only, only see what you see and only say what you say and only move when you say move. I thank you, God, for a revival that's completely, completely engulfing this country. I see revival fires jumping from city to city and state to state. I see hundreds of women praying across America. I see hundreds of men praying across America. I see the uh, prayer meetings in churches becoming the most attended, the attend, most attended uh, meetings in America. I thank you, Lord, for revival in America. I thank you, Lord, for healing in our land. I thank you, Lord, for healing in our land. I thank you, Lord, for healing in our families, our marriages, our children. I thank you, Lord, that our children are being saved, delivered, del delivered. There will not be one of them that not will that will not go uh, under that will stay uh, bound, but they will all go into the baptismal pool of deliverance. The baptismal pool of deliverance. They will all be delivered by the power of the Holy Ghost and fire. Your children are being delivered. Your children are being delivered. Your children are being delivered. I love you, Jesus. 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 I thank you, Lord. I see your children. I see your children running home. I see your children running home to God. When I say running home, I'm not talking necessarily your house. <laughs> You're all going, thank God. I'm talking about running home to the Father. I'm talking about running home to Jesus. I'm talking about running home to what they know and what they believe and what they've been called to do. I'm talking about coming really home to true north. I thank you, Lord, that our children, all of our children, are finding their way right back into the center of your will. To the center of your will. To the center of your will. God, we love you. God, we love you so much. We love you so much. We love you so much. I hara ramo hondria sadria kai. I oro ramo hondria sadria hai. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you that every church in America, every Bible believing church in America, is ablaze with your spirit and your power and real revival. I thank you for everyone, every man and woman that is going out into America, going out and doing tent revivals, going out and doing street meetings, going out and just taking the gospel into the highways and byways. I declare them blessed. I pray for Sean Foyt that he's blessed. I pray for Jesse Green and her husband that they're blessed. I pray, God, that when me and, when me and Jenny and our team goes out, the Her Voice team, that, God, we are blessed. And we see hundreds and hundreds of souls saved and set free. In every arena we go, Lord, we just want to be obedient to you. We just want to walk in the power of your might. We want to walk in the power of your presence. We want to stand, stand in faith, God. I E Andrea Santa de la Moco de Ria Sai. He oro Romo on the de la Moco Santa de la Cat. Lord, I thank you. 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 You know, several nights uh, I've been dreaming of revival and um, I dreamed of a, a, a tent. 
us putting up a tent in Texas and uh, I'm trying to get this off my eye. Us putting up a tent right there in Baytown and uh, and I just began to see people pour in and we had had some, it was an, a visiting evangelist that came. It wasn't, it was our worship, but we were just gathering people in and people were being saved and delivered and set free. And I saw this huge, huge tent and I saw a, a, a big field and people were just coming. And I saw these tents, they began to pop up all over America and churches began to work together. And there was major, major revival, major revival. And these these tents would just be filled with hundreds of people. And then, and then the pastors would, you know, uh, take different portions of them. They would, different portions would go different places and they would be, they would be discipled and, and set up. So, Lord, I just thank you for the tents in America. I see revival tents all across America. I see revival tents all across America. won't just be one or two, but it'll be a plethora of them. I mean, they are going to pop up all over America, all over America. We are going to take the gospel outside. We are going to take the gospel outside. We are going to take the gospel outside to the highways and the byways. We are taking the gospel outside. So Lord, I just thank you for what you're doing. I thank you for what you're doing in uh, America. I thank you for what you're doing in the world. I thank you, God, for a revival that can't be stopped. I thank you for tents that are going up all across this nation. That this nation's going to burn with Holy Ghost revival. That this nation's going to burn with hot, hot prayer. That the coals of the altar are going to touch our tongues. And I thank you, Lord, that, it, that, it, that we're going to burn. We're going to be literally human, human torches for Jesus. Human torches for Jesus. We're going to lay down any weight that might so easily beset us, any any ideology that is not of yours, any thought process that's not pure, anything that speaks death, we're going to lay it down. And we're going to pick up life. And we're going to pick up prayer. And we're going to pick up wisdom. And we're going to pick up the Holy Ghost and fire. Every day, God, every day we're going to operate in the Holy Ghost and fire. We're going to operate in the Holy Ghost and fire. We're going to speak the words of Jesus. We're going to pray God's word. We're going to fast. We're going to seek God. We're going to seek God. We're going to seek God. We're going to seek God morning, noon, and night. Morning, noon, and night. We're going to seek God. We're going to seek God morning, noon, and night. Morning, noon, and night. Morning, noon, and night. We're going to seek God. We're going to seek God. Lord, I love you so much. I horo romondria, kai, andadadamo ondria, si, hondria, andadadamo ondria, sadria, kai, he ondadadamo ondria, sai, i kai, andadadamo hondria, hai, indria, si, indria, hondria, kai. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I thank you for these prayer warriors. I thank you for 275 prayer warriors. Girls, I want you to go on and share the broadcast. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prophesy and pray healing over you because God is going to heal. God is going to heal this morning. God is going to heal. Deborah Briggs, God is healing you. Wendy, God is healing and touching you this morning. God is healing you this morning. God is healing you this morning. Uh, Cynthia. God is touching you this morning. Susan, God is healing you this morning. There is the power to heal. God is healing our minds. God is healing our spirits. God is healing our physical bodies. God is healing you this morning. God is healing you this morning. He's healing you this morning. Lord, I just thank you for Kimberly Ennis. God, Kimberly, Kimberly, God's doing something great in your life. This week, there's healing taking place in your body. There's healing in your spirit. You're going to recognize just a, a freshness of God's spirit all over your body, 
all over your mind, all over everything that you and hubby set your hand to do. There's a healing happening this morning. Diane Kirk, you're, you, God is healing you this morning. And you may say, I'm not sick in my body, but he's healing any area, any area that is out of alignment, any area that is in a false reality, any area that is not speaking the truth. God is healing, whether it's physically, spiritually, or emotionally. God is healing you this morning. He is healing you this morning. Just raise your hands. Rebecca, he's healing you this morning. There is a spirit to heal. The spirit of God is healing this morning. He's healing all psychosis. He's healing all emotional distraughtness. He's healing all fear. He's taking all fear out. Anybody here that's in anxiety, he's taking it out. He's just causing it to be gone. He's eradicating it. He's eradicating it. He's eradicating it. We are walking in great faith. He is depositing great faith. Raise your hands and receive great faith. You are going to be women of great faith. Receive great faith. Faith to believe for the impossible. 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 Ihoro romo andriakai adadaromo sandriasi. Ihoro romo daria sandria mo koda dadaromo sandriak. I andria adadaromo kodria sandriasi. Iho dadaromo kodria adadaromo sai. Iho andria andriakai adadaromo sandria. Ihoro romo daria sandriaki. I andria mo daria kai andria sai. He also da 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 mo ko da ri a si. He an da 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 mo ko da ri a sa. He on da 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 mo ko da 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 ri a sa da ri a hai. He a da ri a sa da ri a kai. He oro romo on da ri a si in da ri a kai. I thank you, Lord, for that tent that I saw in Baytown surrounding area, and this was a huge tent on a huge piece of property. And I saw consistent revival, and I saw pastors working together, and I saw different pastors preaching on Sundays, and I saw uh, uh, evangelists that would come in during the week, and I saw hundreds and hundreds and th well, actually thousands of people being saved and healed and delivered. And I just thank you, God. I call it forth in every city in America. I don't know when your timing is. I don't know when you'll do it, but I know you're going to do it, and I call forth the resources. I call forth the tents. I I call forth the, the land. I call forth the monies to do what we've been called to do. I call it forth in Jesus' name. I odria sandria kai, I odaramo dria sandria hai, I kororomo dria sandria kai, I andria sandria moho. I thank you, Lord, that Texas is ablaze with revival. I thank you, Lord, that Tennessee is ablaze with revival. I thank you, Lord, that you sent angels, God. You sent angels, Lord, to help prepare the way. In these states, you've sent angels to help prepare the way in these states. Ekai, harvest angels have been sent, gathering angels, Lord. Prayer angels, angels that are gathering people for prayer. Angels that are gathering men and women to fast. Angels that are gathering the harvest into these regions where the power of God is being preached and taught God freely. That nobody's afraid. There's no fear. But we're walking in great faith. We're walking in great faith. I see a tent in Nashville. I see a, a sustained tent in Nashville. And I see revival breaking out in Nashville. I see healing and deliverance and people being set free. I thank you, Lord, that 
There have been angels assigned to every state. There's being angels assigned to your particular city. Every lady that's on here, your city and your region, there's been angels assigned to your cities and regions. And begin to ask the Lord for help. I ask you, Lord, for help in Baytown. I pray, God, for Hillside Church. I pray, God, for Hillside and for Mark and Pastors Mark and Dina Trice. And I pray, God, that that building would be filled to capacity with revival. Revival. I pray, God, for Mercy Gate. That that that. And I pray for Pastors Don, Don and Jonna Gibson. I pray, God, that 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 building would be filled to capacity multiple times. Both of those buildings with such huge revival. I pray for every church in Mont Bellevue, every church in Baytown. I pray for celebration of life. God, that we would it would be so filled, we would have multiple services and, and, the, and the sanctuary would be filled to the brim. That revival would be so powerful and so uh, it, it, uh, thick in our churches, God, that they would literally line up to get in. They would be there an hour, an hour and a half early trying to get in the building. I thank you, God, that you're going to give us fields and tents to be able to hold overflow and revival meetings every, every day of the week. I see revival meetings every day of the week. I pray for revival in every church in Baytown, in, in Mont Bellevue, in Laporte, in Houston, in the whole Houston Metroplex, in Beaumont. I pray, God, for Life Church in Beaumont. I pray, God, for Triumph Church. I pray, God, for the Cathedral of the Pines. I don't know what their new name is. I, f I forgot the new name, but you know what it is, Lord. I just thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in all these churches, God, that there is revival pouring out beyond our wildest imagination, beyond our wildest that, that, God, we are going into the highways and byways and the, and the hilltops, and we're going into the worst parts of the city. I thank you, God, for revival in Portland, Oregon. I thank you, Lord, for revival in Seattle. God, we reclaim the Northwest for you. We reclaim the Northeast for you. We, we refuse to let the enemy take our cities. We reclaim it in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for revival that cannot be stopped. In this region, we thank you, Lord, that Tennessee is ablaze, is ablaze with revival, that Tennessee is ablaze, is ablaze with revival, God. I thank you, Lord. 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 The Tennessee's ablaze with revival. I see the fire of God hitting Nashville and hitting these surrounding areas. I, th I see the fire of God, the fire of God. I see the mercy of God. I see, I see uh, the uh, the revival like a tsunami wave. It just waters pouring in, Holy Ghost water, 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 new wine. Lord, your wa the water of your Spirit. This whole town is being baptized with your Spirit. I see God rivers, rivers of living water. He kaya da 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 bo o da ya sa da ya si he ya ka da ya si is the abo so da ya hai ayya da ya bo da ya da ya bo sa da ya ka ayya da ya hai ya da ya bo da ya da ya bo ko ya da ya da ya bo da ya da ya sa da ya bo ko da ya sa da ya bo da ya bo sa da ya ka. I love you, Lord. 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 
Many of you are being healed right now. If you'll just raise your hands, the power of God is healing you. The power of God is healing you right now. He's healing your body. He's healing your mind. He's healing your spirit. He's healing circumstances. He's healing your family. He's healing your children. He's healing. He's healing in every area of your life that is not where it's supposed to be. God's making it right. I just thank you, Lord. I want you to just, just receive it. I'm telling you, the power of God's healing you. There's a power to get wealth, too. There's an anointing to get wealth. There's many of you that have tried businesses or businesses have failed, but I'm telling you there's an anointing to get wealth. God is preparing the church for this last day revival. He's going to bring wealth in from all kinds of resources. He's going to get, bring it to people that he knows he can trust that will find it's revival across America. People that he knows he can trust to finance revival. And just receive it. Just receive it. Just receive it. There's going to be unusual, unusual ways that God gets you money. Ways that you've thought of, ways you haven't thought of. But uh, just begin to sow seed into revival. I'm telling you, sow seed into revival. God is doing something. He is doing something with our seed. Begin to sow seed into revival. Begin to sow seed into revival. Begin to sow seed. Lord, I just thank you for what you're doing. You're doing something that's so profound. That's so profound. That's so profound. I just thank you, Lord. Don't, don't, don't hesitate to sow seed. If you want to sow seed into her voice, you can go to colbaytown.com and, uh, colbaytown.com uh, forward slash giving and there's a place on there that says her voice and you can you can pour into these meetings into these rallies that we are pouring into across the city it cost a lot of money to put these on but god is blessing us and giving us the resources to do it so if you want to sow into that feel free sow into your local churches sow into your local churches be faithful with your tithe and your offering watch god god is going to do something so supernatural so supernatural in the regions that we're going into. I see great wealth coming to those that can be trusted, that can be trusted with finances, can be trusted to give to this last day outpouring. And I, I just thank you, Lord, that you're going to do supernatural things. I see God just bringing money from the north, south, east, and west. I see gathering angels, gathering up people, lost souls from the north, south, east, and west. And they're coming into revival meetings, tent meetings, churches. They're coming into our, our Her Voice rallies across the nation. Oh, yes. They are coming by the hundreds. They're coming. They're coming by the hundreds. Your children are coming home to the house of God. Revival is taking place in such a powerful way. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Right now, somebody has been healed in their right hip. Your right hip has been giving you excruciating. Literally, you've been having excruciating pain. And right now, that right hip is being healed. Right now. Right now. Right now. God's aligning it. He's aligning it. He's healing it. I thank you, Jesus, for what you're doing. I thank you, Jesus, for what you're doing. I thank you, Jesus, for what you're doing. There's somebody watching here that you want to actually put up a tent in your city, and you need the resources to do it. And I see God putting in uh, resources in your hand. I see incredible resources coming. To anyone that wants to finance revival. If you have a heart for revival, God is going to bring incredible resources. Incredible resources. And if you'll be faithful to do what God asks you to do, I promise you, you'll never lack in resources. You'll never lack in resources. Lord, we just thank you. Cash is drinking his, his morning. He wants to pray with me this morning. That's Ray, Ray and Josh's dog. Lord, I just thank you for the resources that are coming. Resources, huge amounts of resources. I see tent meetings all over America. 
I see revival fires burning all across America. I see, I see people being healed, delivered, and set free. I see cities being ablaze with revival. Little cities, big cities, all across, all across America. Lord, I just thank you for revival in America. I thank you for revival in America. I thank you for revival in America. I thank you, Lord, that you are, you're, you're turning, you're turning America, you're turning America into a hotbed of revival and righteousness will prevail in America. Righteousness will prevail in America. Righteousness will prevail in America. Lord, we just thank you that you're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it, Lord. You're doing it. You're doing it. That righteousness will prevail in America. I thank you, Lord, for a miracle in our in our nation. I thank you, Lord, that our cities will become hotbeds for revival and our and our little townships and, and counties, Lord, will become hotbeds for revival. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I love you so much. I'll see you, uh, and we'll see you in the morning. Uh, be encouraged. Know that God is moving in power and in might, and there's no weapon formed against you will prosper. We love you. God bless.